Okay, let me start over. What's up guys, it's the Nail Polish Challenge and today I am doing a very highly requested video. A lot of you guys have been asking me what is my nail care routine, so today I am going to talk to you about all the products that I use and how I use them. So, I am not a professional, I am not a nail technician, I never went to school for this. This is just tips that I have picked up along the way being, you know, a self-proclaimed nail artist. Um, so anything that I say this is not any sort of medical advice. Um, if it doesn't work for you, do not do it. I am not the, you know, voice of nail polish. So if you're unsure about anything, I would say either look it up, ask your doctor, or go to a licensed nail technician because I maybe don't know what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> and I'm hilarious. If you guys hear eating in the background, it's my boyfriend because he's sitting here eating dinner while I'm filming this. That's how much I love you guys because I am making him sit there in silence eating his dinner while I film this for you guys. So I want to start off with one super important tip. I'm not sure how many of you guys use base coat in your manicures, but that is extremely important to keep your nail protected, to keep your nails from staining, and basically to just keep your manicure lasting a really long time. Um, I use a ton of different base coats. You can usually see in my tutorial videos which one I'm using. Probably the most frequently used are Cuccio Base Coat and KB Shimmer Basic Training Base Coat. These are the two that I just keep on top of my desk because I use them so often. Another tip that I have for you guys is to never cut your nails. Seriously, never cut them. I have not cut my nails in over four years and I know that sounds absolutely crazy but the reason that I don't cut my nails is because I file them. Um, I use this uh, Tropical Shine nail file that I get. I buy this from Sally Beauty, Sally Beauty Bar. <laughs> I get this from Sally's. Um, the one that I use is 400 and 600 grit. Uh, the higher the grit, the finer it is, which means it's going to be easier on your nails. Those ones that you see that are like those little drugstore ones with like the brownish um, filing board on the back, those are 180 grit and those are actually not that good for your nails. Um, what you want to get is a higher grit one, at least 200. Um, if you have acrylic or gel nails, the 180 is fine, but that is not meant for natural nails. If you want to sand something with it, you can totally use those for it, but otherwise I would not use them. I buy these for like a dollar. Um, if they sell them online, I'll put a link in the description, but I, I love this one. I've been buying this one for like years. Um, you can also, I, I know a lot of people use crystal nail files and I think those are also really good, but I don't have one at the moment, so this is what I've been using. So the next nail care product that I absolutely love using is this Blue Cross Cuticle Remover. And I know it sounds totally scary, but another thing that you shouldn't cut is your cuticles. So don't cut your nails and don't cut your cuticles. Um, what I do is I just pour this onto my nails, I let it sit for a little bit, and then after a few minutes, I will take an orange wood stick, or if I don't have an orange wood stick handy, a toothpick, or I use these little like um, cuticle pusher things, which I'll throw on a close up of these, um, and you just sort of push back your cuticles and you peel off away the dead skin. Um, the next product that I love to use is Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter. This is something that I get from Lush. Um, I actually have two of them just because I use them so often. I keep one on my desk and I also keep one by my bed and I put it on right before I go to bed. This is like a really, really thick cuticle cream. Uh, I also actually use it uh, in the winter. I use it on my lips, on my elbows, anywhere I really need um, a lot of attention because it is such like a thick, creamy butter that it, it really like penetrates your skin and it gets you super moisturized. So this is something that I use all the time. Um, if I have just swatched a bunch of polishes and my nails are super dried out from all the acetone, um, I will use this. So you guys might have noticed that in a lot of my videos as I'm painting my nails, you can see that they're all super dry. Um, that's because when I'm painting my nails, I use a lot of acetone, which is just pure nail polish remover. It's super drying on your skin and it does not make your cuticles look very good at all. But what I do in between my tutorials and the actual taking of the pictures is I do a ton of moisturizing. One of the products that I just recently started using because I just got it is Simply Pure Hydrating Oil um, and it comes in this nifty little pen so you just screw the cap and you paint it sort of onto your nails. It's got like this little bristly brush so you use that 
and I put that over my nails before I do my pictures. I let it soak in, and then my cuticles look really nice after. Um, another product that I absolutely love using is OPI. I actually don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Avo Juice or Avo Juice? Because I always thought it was Avo Juice. Um, but then I looked on the back, and apparently avocado is an ingredient here, which actually I don't see now. Somebody told me that, so everybody calls it Avo Juice. As far as I know, I call it Avo Juice, but whatever. I've been using it for a really long time. I actually just bought this ginormous refill bottle of it because I love it so much. I use it in between each photo because it's so amazing and it keeps your skin really moisturized without looking oily on camera so that's why I love it. Um, it is on the pricier side so this is not something that I use on the rest of my body. I just exclusively use it on my hands. I think this smaller one is maybe $8 and this one I feel like I got it for like $25 or something. I don't know, it's really expensive, but it is definitely worth it. As far as lotions go, you don't necessarily need the most expensive one. Another thing that I absolutely do all the time is I use as much lotion as possible. I um, have anywhere from like nice KB Shimmer lotions to like Bath and Body Works ones, which I keep in my purse and I apply them like every single hour on the hour when I'm at work or when I'm out. Um, I also steal the little um, hotel lotions when I go stay at hotels because these are super useful and you can just throw them in your purse and I don't recommend stealing but like when you're paying for the room. So yeah just like all sorts of body butters I use seriously a ton of these Bath and Body Works ones because I get those coupons all the time that are like a free mini when you buy soap or whatever so I get a ton of those. I use every single one I possibly can use. I just collect them and I use them all the time. I probably go through like gallons of lotion a year just because I'm constantly, constantly using it. One other product that I absolutely love, this, I got, I think I got this last fall um, from HP Beauty Bar and it's become one of my favorite products and it's a huge container. Um, this is Cuccio brand cuticle conditioning oil and you guys know from my haul video that I am obsessed with Cuccio lately. I don't know, it's just such a good brand. Not a lot of people know about it. I'm totally obsessed with it. They have this cuticle oil. They have a bunch of different scents. The one I have is milk and honey, which smells so good. Um, so I use this all the time. It's like a big dropper. And you can see, I've had this for a year. I use it literally all the time, and I'll only use this much. Uh, I don't remember how much it costs, but I will put a link in the description. Basically, it's just like an eyedropper, and you put like a drop on each nail, and then you let it soak in, and it keeps your nails so nice and smooth and even when I have like these little um, cuticle oil pens what I love to do is I, I use this and I fill up the pens with it so you can refill these I'll put a link in the description if you guys have these pens um, I have them from like KB Shimmer and Cirque and other brands that you know make these cuticle oil pens so it's really useful to have a big container where I can just refill them so I'm sure once I'm done with this one um, Actually, I kind of like this one. I might have to buy another one, but once I'm done with the pen, I'll definitely be refilling it with my Cuccio cuticle oil because I love it. So, uh, the last piece of advice I want to give you guys is um, don't use pure acetone if you can help it. I use it for my nail art looks, but if you're just taking off a manicure, I wouldn't use it on that. I only use it to clean up like nail art. Um, what I do use, and it doesn't matter what brand you use, I just use like the nourishing polish remover that you get at drugstores. It's usually blue. This one's from, I don't know, this one might be Rite Aid or Walmart. This one's CVS. It doesn't matter. I just pick them up when they're on sale. Um, the blue one's got vitamin E, so supposedly it softens your cuticles. I can tell after I use these that they are not as drying as pure acetone, obviously, because that is super, super strong. So. I would just stick to using those. I That's what I use when I'm removing my nail polish. Um, so that is it. If you guys are interested on in seeing a video on how I file my nails, because I know I got them straight across. A lot of people keep them round. I keep them square. If you guys are curious, leave a comment. I will make a video for you. I have a ton of other exciting stuff coming up. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I just posted a new challenge that I'm going to be doing with my friend Wondrously Polished. Um, 
We're going to be doing themed Thursdays, so every Thursday on here you're going to see a tutorial that is themed based on whatever the theme of the month is. This month is October, so we are going to be doing Halloween themed manicures. You guys can see all the details on my Instagram page. That would be at the nail polish challenge. So go check it out. Leave me a comment. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see next. And make sure you subscribe for more nail art and other stuff. Bye. Eat quieter. I know you're doing it on purpose, now you're slurping. <laughs>